For our capstone project, we looked at coping mechanisms to help reduce nurse burnout in psychiatric nurses. I'm Anna Scully. Throughout research, it can be seen that high levels of burnout affect over 50% of mental health professionals at an early stage of their career. High levels of burnout can be seen throughout the medical field, especially psychiatric nursing, due to high stress environments. The purpose of our education session was to educate psychiatric nurses about coping mechanisms to reduce nurse burnout and decrease work stress. We presented a 20-minute presentation at UCMC Ridgeway involving pre- and post-tests to nurse on the target unit. Throughout our session, nurses were able to learn how to accurately and efficiently use the coping mechanisms and relaxation techniques. When we were coming up with a topic to cover, burnout stuck out to us because of how prevalent it is in the medical field. As nurses, the things we see and go through put a toll on our mental, emotional, and physical states. Specifically, psychiatric nurses experience things that are hard to cope with. As soon-to-be graduate nurses, we wanted to learn more about how to reduce our, reduce our own feelings of burnout as well as our future coworkers. We identified four main stressors as acuity level, verbal and emotional abuse, lack of confidence, and dealing with unpredictable and disturbed patients. We decided to create an educational training on about coping mechanisms for psychiatric nurses at Ridgeway to reduce their feelings of burnout. These coping mechanisms included deep breathing, practice relaxation techniques, social support, and positive thinking mindfulness techniques. We began our education session by presenting a pretest containing 10 questions to the nurses. After they were completed, we provided a 20-minute slideshow with pamphlets about coping me mechanisms they can use to help reduce burnout rates. At the end of the session, we concluded with a post-test, which was identical to the pre-test, to see if the education helped improve the staff scores. The findings showed that after the education session, the floor nurses and managers were able to identify healthy, healthy coping mechanisms to help reduce their work-related stress. Our pretest asked questions that addressed coping mechanisms the nurses had implemented before our education session, and our post-test showed significant improvement in identifying healthy coping mechanisms after listening to our practice. The education we implemented appeared to be effective based on the improvement between the pre- and post-test results. The knowledge-based questions were answered and almost entirely correct on the post-test. We also received positive feedback on our presentation, including that they appreciated our topic. It was relevant and applicable to the staff's work lives. Our results clued us in on staff's beliefs that night shift and age would contribute to triggering stress if we were to make improvements. We would be sure to focus on more educating about stress triggers. Some lessons learned include seeking mentorship outside of the hospital. A third-party mentor not directly involved in your work can help navigate stressors within and outside of your work-related stress, providing more holistic support system. Do not let others, other nurses' burnout affect you. Recognize when your coworkers may be experiencing burnout and maybe you decide to talk to them about it. It is important to protect your energy and not let the way others are feeling affect your mood. You can support them through their struggles instead of allowing it to get to you where it starts to rub off on you negatively. Your stress is a your staff as a team and uplifting each other can go a long way. Reach out to your management if you're struggling. They have either been in your shoes before or they have helped someone else through it. Lastly, have confidence. Be confident in yourself to be a successful nurse you are. Do not put unnecessary pressure on yourself to be perfect. Thanks for listening to our presentation and I hope you have a stress-free day.